Welcome to Blossoming by Grace and Grit. This is message 524. The name of our devotional today is Psalm 91 Prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We make a joyful shout to you. We come before your presence with singing and we enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. You are good from everlasting to everlasting, my Father. We pray for our president, my Father, and the elections that are coming up very soon in the United States. We pray for intercessors, my God. We pray for teachers and pastors and friends. We pray for enemies. We pray for neighbors and doctors. And we pray for the people of Israel, my Father. My God, we pray for all of the first-line workers, the nurses and the doctors and the emergency room doctors, my Father. We pray for firefighters, my God. We pray, Father God, Lord God in heaven, for every person that serves my Father's society, O oh God. We pray for them, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we ask that you let us dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I ask you to let us say that you are Lord, our refuge, our fortress, and our God, in whom we can trust. We ask that you deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. We ask you to cover each of us with your feathers and let us walk under your wings to take refuge. We ask that your faithfulness and truth be our shield and our armor. We ask that we are not afraid of the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flies by day, nor by the deadly pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. We ask that you cause a thousand to fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, and that nothing that will try to destroy us will come near us. We ask that you give your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We ask that your angels' hands lift us up, that we may not dash our foot against a stone to be hurt in any way. We ask that you let us tread upon the lion and the serpent, and that you let us trample the young lion and the serpent under our feet. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to answer us when we call upon you, to be with us in trouble, deliver us and honor us and satisfy us with a good life and show us your salvation. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that these things are all written in Psalm 91 and that we can dwell in the secret place of the Most High. We thank you that we can abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We thank you that we can say that you are our Lord, our refuge, our fortress and our God, whom we can trust. We thank you for delivering us from every deadly pestilence and the snare of the fowler. We thank you for covering us with your feathers. We thank you that we can walk under your wings and take refuge. We thank you for your faithfulness and truth, which is our shield and our armor. We thank you that we are not afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. We thank you that a thousand may fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand. And nothing will come near us thank you for giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways thank you for your angels that will lift us up my father so we may tread upon the lion and the serpent my father deliver us O oh god and honor us and satisfy us with a good life a long life and show us your salvation heavenly father we are so thankful for our lord jesus christ Thank you that Jesus spoiled all the principalities and all powers and made a show of them openly and triumphed over them in himself. We claim all the victory of our lives, all the victory that belongs to us, my Father, and we reject all the insinuations, accusations, and temptations of Satan. We affirm that the word of God is true and we choose to live in obedience to you, Lord Jesus, and in the fellowship with you. Open our eyes and show us the areas of our lives that do not please you. Work in us to cleanse us from all ground that we would give Satan a foothold against us. 
We want to stand every day as your adopted child and we welcome you. We welcome all the ministries of the Holy Spirit of God, Heavenly Father. We pray that now and through our lives you would strengthen and enlighten us and show us the way Satan and his demonic spirits are trying to hinder, tempt, lie, and distort the truth in our lives. Enable us to be kind people, people that will please you. Enable us to be aggressive, aggressive in prayer and faith. Enable us to be aggressive mentally, to think about and practice your word and to give you your rightful place in our lives. Heavenly Father, we place all of our cares, all of our anxieties, all of our worries, and all of our concerns once and for all, my Father, in your hands, on you, because we know that you love us and you watch over us according to 1 Peter 5, 7. Heavenly Father, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem and all those who prosper, all those who pray for Jerusalem will prosper and they who love you my father will pray for Jerusalem Heavenly Father we pray that you will establish Jerusalem and make her a praise in the earth to God be all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Jesus, Jesus Hamashiach Jesus Yeshua Hamashiach Lord God in heaven we thank you, we bless you. We give you praise, honor, and glory for everything that you do for us. Thank you for that heavenly place, that Father God, that place, that secret place that we can go and we can find shelter and we can go, my Father, and seek refuge. We can go there every single day, Father God. We can go and pray and spend time with you and find the peace, my Father, find the joy, find my God, that place where we can lay down our fears, our anxieties, our worries, the petitions of our heart, we can lay them down at your feet. My God, thank you so much for the cross. Thank you so much for your blood. Thank you so much, my Father, that you came to this earth for the sick, the sick of the spirit, the sick of heart, the sick of the mind, the sick, my Father. My Lord God, thank you so much. In your name we pray, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, today and every day. Amen. My friend, I encourage you to play in the light, play in the sunshine, and dance in the rain. But most of all, I encourage you to look up, smile, look around you, look at the flowers, look at the colors, look at the, the hues of every color that God has created. The, the little birds, look at the trees, look at everything. Look at your children smile. Look at love, feel love, give love, receive love. For God loves you. Until we meet again, God bless you. This is a prayer to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Father God, thank you so much, my Lord, for Jesus. Thank you so much that I realize that I am a sinner and that I need a savior, God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the precious blood that was shed on the cross at Calvary for me, for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask you forgiveness for every one of my sins. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. I give you my word that from this day forward, I will follow you. I will read the word, I will go to church, and I will spend time with you, Lord Jesus. I want to get to know you more. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making something of my life that is worthwhile, something wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me as your son, as your daughter, into the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your great grace. In your name I pray, Lord Jesus.
Thank you for receiving me today. Amen. My friend, if you have made this prayer, if you have said this prayer, I congratulate you for because today there is a celebration in heaven. The Bible says that when one sinner repents, there is a celebration. In other words, there is a party in the kingdom of God. And so I congratulate you because it is the absolute best decision that you will ever make or have ever made in your life. Many blessings to you and to your family. In Jesus' name, amen.